Hello and welcome to this edition of SAC News. I am Noemi Mosqueda. And I am Kevin Peralta. Thank you for joining us. SAC students are gearing up for graduation as the semester comes to an end. Registration for commencement is open until May 30th. Graduating dons are automatically registered for a ceremony with their purchase of the grad package at the Don's Bookstore, which includes a cap, gown, and tassel. This year's graduation will be at the Santa Ana Bowl on Flower Street, May 31st. Undecided majors got some guidance from Santa Ana College. The Let's Decide event recently gave students who are still undecided the opportunity to learn more about SAC majors. Also joining the event, the school's LGBTQIA awareness group. They provided speakers from the community and booths with information on student services. Representatives from the Highway Patrol manned a booth with information about careers in law enforcement, while the ASG set up different activities like a photo booth and boot stations. If you missed the event, you could still get some guidance on picking your major by visiting the SAC Career Development Center. A college program that helps students with learning challenges reach out to folks here in Santa Ana. Our reporter Chris Arce got a lesson on how they create success in the classroom. Sam Elizondo came to learn about Landmark College because she has a learning difference, dyslexia. If my mom didn't put me in tutoring, I think it would be a lot harder for me. I was not that good in reading then. Now uh, I can read a lot better. I have found as a tutor that um, so many students, their teachers just don't understand dyslexia. And dyslexic people uh, are very bright, typically, so um, putting them in remedial classes is not what they need. They need to be taught differently. Landmark is the first college to exclusively help students with learning differences, including dyslexia, ADHD, and autism. They not only help students with educational challenges, but also social challenges, like Kathleen Hall's children. And all three of them are on the autism spectrum. Academically, they never really have had any challenges, but socially, um, the social interaction in the classroom, on the playground, has been was very challenging. Landmark's presentation also gave advice on what to look for in colleges when you have a learning difference. So we try to demystify the whole process and provide some tips on what you should look for when applying to a college. For students like Sam, Landmark hopes to pave the way for student success. In Santa Ana with SAC News, this is Chris Arce. You can check out Landmark's website to learn more about them and to ask any questions you might have about college searching. The sixth annual Sustainapalooza event took place at SAC earlier this week. The event helps students understand sustainability in ecology and gives them ideas on what they can do to help the environment. A panel of environmentalists from the community were there giving students advice on available career paths. The event featured booths from like the OC Coast Keepers and the SAC mural team was there to create a mural in honor of Earth Day. ASG provides students with food, drinks, as well as gifts and many raffles. The event organizers encourage everyone to visit their Instagram to learn more about the Environmentalist Club. And now we're going to take a quick break. Join us after for a behind the scenes look at the upcoming dance event. My name is Kevin. I'm a military veteran returning to school and I'm a student at Santa Ana College. I went to an art school in Los Angeles for two years. I realized things were getting pricey and expensive. Um, you know, I was tired of hearing my parents talk about the financial issues we have. Um, at the same time, I also had a desire ever since I was a little kid to join the military. So I enlisted in the United States Air Force for four and a half years and uh, immediately at the same time I got out of the military, I got hired at Disney. I chose online classes because I'm able to have time management with my priorities outside of school and also with the school. I'm able to control my life. My advice for a student thinking about taking online classes is you got to be on top of your game. You have to make sure you have time to do your online classes. It might be easy to forget that you have homework due and quizzes to take. So you just definitely got to be on top of it. I would say online classes are just the same 
type of difficulty as face-to-face -face class. Do the coursework, read the chapters, take the quiz. Um, you still have deadlines just like actual classes. It's been a year and um, I'm able to speed up the process where I'm going to be getting my associate's degree this December and will be transferring for spring. So online classes definitely helps me um, reach my end goal faster. Welcome back, Dons. I'm Andrew Lapp. In entertainment this week, we shine a spotlight on an up-and-coming choreographer who's taking on a big role in SAC's spring dance production. Manuel Cervantes is one of the student choreographers whose work will be showcased in the spring dance production. This isn't his first time in the role of a choreographer, but it's his first time at Santa Ana College. I've been a choreographer for Quinceañera Sweet Sixteens for about three years. So this is the more advanced choreography that I've done. I'm so used to teaching those who have little to no knowledge about dance. And when I came here and I saw how the dancers were, they have a couple more years on me. Manny's biggest challenge as a choreographer has been getting out of his comfort zone. I kind of hit a wall and it started to look like a very, like, look what I can do instead of look what I can show you. So it started looking more like a high school dance where I kind of made a whole 360 turn and I started going to more of the, like more of the emotional part of dancing. So, and it's not something I was used to. So that's where I started coming up with this choreography. It's not something I'm used to. It was out of my comfort zone. When he thinks about his future, many thinks he'll find fulfillment in teaching. I prefer teaching. It gives me, I feel like it gives me a purpose. I do something, I create something with dancers who love dancing and then when I see it on stage it's like I created that, like that's something I can do with my life. For Entertainment and the Arts, this is Anna Reyes, SAC News. Fans will soon be able to engage with their favorite movies in an artistic way at an upcoming Fan Alley event. This month's theme features art depicting heroes and villains from Marvel Comics. The May 5th event will be held in Stanton at the Boys and Girls Club on Cedar Street. Parking is free across the street at a public parking structure. For more information, visit fanalley.wordpress.com to see how you can participate in next month's show. A student art show opens next month inside the Campus Art Gallery. The annual event gives students a chance to showcase their art. Curators picked 125 pieces from the 400 submitted by students. The opening night reception on May 11th will feature a scholarship awards ceremony for some of the student artists. The student art show will be open until June 7th, and you can go to the art department website for more information about the show and gallery hours. And that's it for entertainment this week. Noemi and Kevin, back to you. Thanks, Andrew. That wraps up this edition of SAC News. Don't forget to visit our YouTube channel. And if you happen to be at any of the events we mentioned today, be sure to tag us for a chance to be featured on our Instagram page. And don't miss our Spanish news program, Sag Noticias, same time next week.